Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another Here journal for you. Matthew chapter 4, the Gospel of Jesus Christ. The Here to See channel always focuses on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the whole book of Matthew, chapter at a time, doing a Here journal on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Matthew chapter 4 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Check it out. Chapter 4 the temptation of Jesus. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. During that time the devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scriptures say people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off, for the scriptures say he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, The scriptures also say you must not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him, for the scriptures say you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil went away, and angels came and took care of Jesus. The ministry of Jesus begins. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he left Judea and returned to Galilee. He went first to Nazareth, then left there and moved to Capernaum, beside the Sea of Galilee, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali. This fulfilled what God said through the prophet Isaiah, In the land of Zebulun and of Naphtali, beside the sea, beyond the Jordan River, in Galilee, where so many Gentiles live, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who lived in the land where death casts its shadow, a light has shined. From then on Jesus began to preach, Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The First Disciples One day as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. A little farther up the shore he saw two other brothers, James and John, sitting in a boat with their father Zebedee, repairing their nets. And he called them to come too. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. Crowds followed Jesus. Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. News about him spread as far as Syria, and people soon began bringing to him all who were sick, and whatever their sickness or disease, or if they were demon-possessed or epileptic or paralyzed, he healed them all. Large crowds followed him wherever he went, people from Galilee, the ten towns, Jerusalem, from all over Judea, and from east of the Jordan River. That was Matthew chapter 4 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Now for my hair journal. First the highlight. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. The temptation of Jesus. Verse 1. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. 
During that time, the devil came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off, for the scriptures say, He will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, The scriptures also say, You must not test the Lord your God. Next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him, for the scriptures say you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil went away, and the angels came and took care of Jesus. Now, for my explanation. Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit to the wilderness for 40 days and nights fasting. After the 40 days of fasting, he was tempted by Satan three times where Jesus countered the temptation with scripture. Afterward, the devil Satan went away and some angels came and took care of Jesus. And now, what's the application for us today? We can learn from this. We must follow the Holy Spirit wherever he leads us. Should we ever be confronted with temptation, we know that we can counter that temptation with the scripture, the word of God. Satan wants, us to wants to stop us any way he can, but if we trust the Lord with all our hearts, submit fully to the Lord, the devil will flee and the Holy Spirit will always show us a way of escape. Reference, James chapter four, verse seven. Submit your th yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9 Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you that's not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. And James chapter one, verses two to four. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for my salvation and your truth. Help me, Lord, to effectively apply your holy word, the sword of the Spirit, to fend off all spiritual adversaries. I trust you, Lord. I strive to seek you daily, to follow you obediently and faithfully. I pray for those that do not know you as their Savior, and will seek and find you and follow you through eternity. Amen. Amen. And now how about you? Why don't you try some hair journaling, highlight, explain, apply, respond. Give it a try. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. Do you know the Lord Jesus? 
If not, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 and talk to God about it. Talk to God about anything, anywhere, anytime. He loves you. He's waiting for you right now. Seek Him. God bless.